Today, we are going to beat Dean Machina without dying. But before we get into the festivities, we would like to give a big thank you to you, yo, it's smoking uh, for being our 1600 subscriber. For those who are new around here, we do subscriber goals as loadouts. So if you land on one of those mysterious hundred figures, then you will probably become the gun. And yo, it's smoking is now the Milano. So thank you very much. We're back on Cold War Zombies. Did you miss me? Oh, baby. Sometimes I miss this game. Sometimes I honestly miss this game. I, uh, I could play it anytime. I don't know why I'm saying I miss it, but I miss it. I feel like I rarely play Cold War anymore. So, you know, taking opportunities in videos to play it. I'm I'm all for that, all for that. For the uninitiated on Cold War Zombies Easter eggs, basically all of them start for me anyways. You're all do whatever you want. For me, they all start with me staying in the spawn room until the last zombie around six. And then you just start doing Easter egg steps. For us, that first step is gonna be acquiring the die shockwave and then getting all of the upgraded stuff Ooh, chow pa jazing if you haven't seen one of our easter egg guides before you should check them out if you haven't beaten the map yet um but it isn't mentioned in the guide however if you are to melee zombies you have to go kapak kaching kachoom otherwise you won't beat the map that's it's there's like a there's a microphone in the playstation controllers if you're playing on playstation um and there's other ways that they can hear you but you have to make the sound the fact that i didn't make the sound there means this video is now invalid Kapow. There we go. It's not valid again. I'm gonna grab this just so I can punch the zombies. Punch! Punch! I have the fist of steel! So now we just start opening up the map. Trying to point maximize as much as you can. I'm gonna shoot this as you go by it. Pop that open for next time. Now let's head down here. Run against the wall, because we're working on our cardio. Bang. So while we're going through this section, you are more than welcome to like, you know, shoot any of these crystals, see if you get anything good. I mean, sometimes you can get some pretty gnarly things out of these crystals. I get anxiety, so I don't like to take too much time on the crystals because I am always afraid that I'm not going to leave myself enough time to go through the portal. I know I'm going to have more than enough time. I'm just like, Ugh! I panic. But you know, you can get a lot, of, a lot of good stuff. You can get some points, you can get some salvage, you get some armor. Um, I believe like that um, That kind of stuff is really nice early on. I think you can even get a, uh, a ray gun too from that Also nice when it's there because you can pick up the fuse early Over there bada bang back to the machine Perfect, and it's right there. This isn't that nice Back into the dark ether. We just got out. So now we're getting the parts to the ether scope again for those of you who have not completed this easter egg before uh, I'm not really sure what it does it like detects anomalies or something i don't i don't know it does things grab oh, grab will spawn in dogs when you grab the pieces so you know first couple of dogs that come in you might want to take out you will want to save some later on so you can actually preload the gas thing with doggy doggy stuff bang so I'm going to take them down into the cellar of Demise. We're going to get a lot of them, so it might be beneficial to pop like Ring of Fire or something. Okay, see it's going into the chamber, so you're good there. Now we can go build the ether tool, whatever the heck it's called. Now we can go, I always forget where these things go, move around to. Can't do anything else there. We're down our last zombie, so that's nice. That zombie is a trooper, man. I'm telling you. That zombie is a trooper. So grab the diary. Pop down here. Say hello to Philip. Give him the diary. Wait for the zombie to run away. Run away yourself. So we just talked to Philip. Now we're going to talk to Peter. Peter is over here. What up, Peter? Give him the diary. Fantastic. Now we're going to pop on over here because the red megaton should be on the other side. Um, so we've talked to Philip and Peter, so now we're going to talk to Pita, the bread, or the guy from Hunger Games. Give him that. Phenomenal. And then I'm going to try to prolong our time in the Dark Aether by going up to the spawn room area and interacting with another ghost in there. So hopefully that should give us enough time for the Megaton to come back around and try to make acquaintances with us. So we're here, we've extended our duration into the dark ether. We're maximizing by shooting the crystals. Here is our boy. 
I don't think he quite hit it. I don't think so. Let's try here. Okay, I think it hit it on that time. So now, once we're out of the dark ether, we can type into this computer the passcode that we learned through the diary sequence. The diary of a webby kid, if you will. The panga. So I'm gonna check on two things. I'm going to check on the moss and make sure that the the chungus and lungus shot the fungus, if you will. And he did, amazing. Okay, so now we are in good shape early on. So I think now we can head into the dark ether again. Shocker. We are about to get Jug. I'm gonna go get Stamina up so it's discounted. It's only 500 points, but it'll be discounted. Again, for those who are new to Cold War Zombies, uh, there is no perk limit, and the perk prices are set starting at 2,500, and then they go up 500 points per every perk that you have. Um, so at the end, it's like 6,000 points or something ridiculous like that for one perk. Since we know we're going to get one for free out of the Coffin Dance, if we get the Stamina perk now, it'll be discounted. Instead of if we have to buy it later, it'll be 3,000 because we're about to get a free Juggernaug. Uh, oh, we got du dual wielding pistols. Amazing. Got the Magnums. Do I have a blueprint for this? Oh, yes. Yeah, Ski Ski Gaming. There you go. Big shout out to one of our, pre our past subscribers. See, there you go. You hit that milestone and you're able to subscribe to our channel when we're hitting that round numbers or something like that. You can find yourself being a part of history. Now, every time I use this, I think it's Ski Ski. So now we get our first Megaton, which will be nice uh, because we have the a Purple Howard. To get a purple rarity weapon to start with, you just have to complete all the Easter eggs. But taking him out, taking out the two halves, he will drop like a little key card thing. And then you need to pick up the key card to get the free die shockwave. Ski Ski, get him! Good job, Ski Ski. You took out a single zombie, even though I'm trying to save the zombies. Key card, okay. Now let's run on down. Now we are going to run this over to here, insert. Grab the remote device. Now it's like, it's scanning for the trap. Basically, if you haven't beaten the Easter egg before and you don't want to watch a guide, it'll scan for the trap. And then once you get near it, it'll say like, die, something detected. So it'll start saying it around this area, roughly. So in this area, we are going to round up the zombies and then run them through the trap. And then by doing so, we are going to uh, unlock the cabinet door thing. Once enough of them has been fed to the trap. Has, have been, has, has been, has, has been. English. Once uh, enough zombies have been fed to the, the trap, it'll open the door and then you can get your free die shockwave. Okay, pick up the die shockwave and then we're going to take the die shockwave up here where we'll shoot that box and then we're going to suck up this canister. Eventually. It likes to take way long time so that you're a little anxious about the zombies quickly approaching. So we'll slide that in there, and then we'll go do the fire upgrade. This one, since we already grabbed the fuse, we just need to jump down here. And then interact with that. Bada bing! Again, since we pre-canned this earlier with the doggos, we're good. We can just come in, put it in, and grab it. And we get some extra cash, so we should be able to do the lightning bolt upgrade right now as well. Okay, so if we go up there, and we can snag this one. And we can go down here. All part of the plan. And we just gotta shoot that. Then we go back up, go around yonder, grab there, go on down, go through here. And this one up to you. You can teleport if you want to or not. I mean, you have stamina up and we've saved enough time through using the previous teleporters that you can make it without having to teleport for this third one because that's the closest one to you. So up to you. You know, you can, you can teleport if you'd like. I usually don't. Um, it's not like it's expensive or anything, but it does save like a little bit of money. Going to the clearance section of zombies. And we'll shoot. And with those done, let's go check up on our fungus among us. So now we can go up here. Put down the gas. Ocha. We can switch to our Nova upgrade. We can grab the ice beaker. And we gotta go shoot prongs. And I always forget what prong is which, so bear with me. That one? Is it that one? Okay, dude. The lingering effect is just crazy. 
Okay, so we poured the thing on the chest, so now we can do our ice. Switch to our cryolimiter. Wait for him to come out, or them. This is why you save multiple zombies. Because I know I, I did accidentally take out one of them. Switch to fire. Shoot that one. And then let's go get our lightning. Do lightning last because this is the one I'm going to use for the boss fight anyhow. So might as well have that one ready to go. Okay, and then we'll blast that. And then we're good to go. We could actually go through this portal. Okay. And we're actually safe. We could just hang out here if we want to. Good time for a commercial break. Hi. Are you in a commercial break right now? Yeah. Are you waiting for dialogue to conclude? Yeah. Well, then you might be a prime candidate to subscribe. What does that do? Subscribing is completely free. You can change your mind at any time and unsubscribe, and it clues you in on all of our most recent uploads. And it helps us out a ton. You're telling me it's completely free? Completely free, other me. That's wearing the same outfit and is just right over there, but only when I'm off screen. Completely free. Let's go bye bye. Commercial break over. So now we take this dark ether wrench. And then we're gonna go bang on a tank. I I crap you not. We're gonna go bang on a tank. And then once the zombie comes out of the tank, we're we're gonna we're gonna take him out. And then throw an explosive at the tank, causing the tank to explode. I also kid you not. So we're just gonna take this guy, walk backwards. Because for some reason in this sequence, if you have stamina up, it actually is faster for you to walk backwards than forwards, because the carrying of the device actually slows you down a little bit. But you can navigate the entire map through utilizing the actual map. So I'm going to spin forwards now because I'm almost there. We're just going to plug that bad boy in there. And then we're good to go. The very next thing we need to do is run rounds until we get a Megaton to spawn in because we need to split a Megaton in that room underneath the little thing that we shot earlier. I was trying not to be silent because I was like, this is a really important part of the Easter egg that we've been waiting several rounds for, but I had to sneeze so bad. What up, brother? Basically, I'm waiting on a little bit more uh, a couple more rounds so that we can get the Wonder Fizz active so I can buy a Mule Kick to get ammo for the, the Jolt Surge or the Electro Bolt. Um, maybe a second Pack-a-Punch. We'll see. Um, so we are going to complete this little Orlov chase sequence and then I think we're probably going to go back to running a few rounds. Basically, you just have to run back to spawn. And then there's going to be an orb down in spawn for you to interact with. There used to be a way to actually escape that cinematic sequence, but they nerfed it for uh, if you do escape it, it just like breaks the game and you can't really get into the boss fight anymore. It's super weird. Um, but I mean, good on them. They want you to know the stuff about the story. So I am going to run over here, interact with that. And then just like last time, the zombies should leave you alone. Ooh, actually, I'm in the dark ether right now, so I could just get mule kick now. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I think we're, we're pretty like sufficiently boss fight ready, in my opinion. I think we're, we're pretty we're pretty good. You know what? Yeah, let's just let's just get turned on the shotgun just in case. Just, just, why not? And then and then we'll be good. So grabbing the photo will take us into the boss fight. We still need 50 salvage for tier three armor, but if we get it, we get it. No, whatever. Let's grab brain rot not turned i'm silly f's in the chat for orlov i'm right here with you buddy Okay. We just gotta protect Daddy Orlov. Good first phase, I think. Like we're caught on something. Oh, 
Oh, hello. What up, bro? I'm like, I need to get, I need to get to Orlov. Sir, please. Let's put this down. And then let's get these guys off Orlov. Focus on boss boy. Then focus on zombies. Or love my friend, I'm trying. I try my best, buddy. My brother, you, you are completely alone. <laughs> my brother, please do your thing. I beg of you. Okay, is there an ammo crate in here? I sure hope so. I don't think there is. Oh, there is. Fantastic. Well, fine. Leave him alone. Leave my boy alone. God, literally just being able to like, final flash beam all the zombies away. So satisfying. Again, Electra Bowl is for sure the one to go for. Uh, for this Easter egg. Not so much high rounds, but for the Easter egg, yes. Orlov, I'm sorry. I ran out of ammo, Orlov. Finish it! Yeah! I'm gonna get some ammo in case I have to kill anything in front of me. I doubt that I will. Ooh, what door do I usually go off of? Is this one. Not too long. I'll get two through armor, whatever. Frick it. Frick it. So now I just have to run and go x -fold. That's, you know, that's, that's the end of the Easter egg. You just have to go x at this point. All right. I usually give it a second because usually it actually like staggers the lightning bolts for some reason. They like come in and, and bursts. I don't want to accidentally like run into one. Or have a zombie push me into one. You know what I'm saying? Because they do like immense damage. Like they if you touch one of these beams, they will kill you immediately. They say not in my house, son. And uh, just like last time, now we just kind of vibe. Brother, I stuck. You're like landing on my head. <laughs> I tried to go, but you're on my head. All right. Yay. We did it. Well, there you have it. There is D Machina with zero deaths. Uh, if you like what you see and you're around here, please consider giving us a subscribe. That's super free. We would love it. And otherwise, we will see you on the next one. Thank you very much.